for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the Devil card and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now this Devil card, when you get this card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited if you come to that conclusion. You want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. And sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often... It's a byproduct of inaction, so take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner, because small baby steps, they're important too. Now, it's paired with Ace of Pentacles. With this card, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And they'll be very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. And this could be in the area of work. It could be personally. But either way, it's a really, really good thing. So the recent past energy between you and your person, like I said, the devil, and it's clarified with this Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting for a lot of you Gemini's that you and your person brought a lot of toxicity to the connection. Whether it was addictions, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Yeah, some type of, some type of devil energy. That's what the devil card is about. You and your person, whether your person was had a, had addictions, maybe over drinking, um, some type of maybe sexual lust, if that was your person maybe, and then maybe you you had your own um, toxic tox, toxic energy that you brought to the connection, whatever it was. Um, so the both of you bought some unhealthy energy to the, to the mix. And you could, you could start to realize that it's time to, to undergo a new beginning. Whether it's a new beginning in the relationship to make it feel like the two of you have undergone a new beginning or maybe a new beginning in some other area of your life. You knew it was time for some type of change to bring about a positive new beginning. So that is the recent past energy between you and your person. Now, let's see what we got coming up for the two of you. We got the Two of Cups and so the Seven of Pentacles. Two of Cups can refer to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. 
it can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Yeah, this is actually a card that says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles, which can be a card about returns on investments, this can be literal. It could be a bank account returning money to you. It could be figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you've sown. Now, this is positive. So, you should start to feel more secure. Yeah, more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along pretty well. Yeah, and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with the Seven of Pentacles. With a good cause. You might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with. Or whether there's that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy on things or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life that's what I'm trying to say so what's coming up two of cups and seven of pentacles so Gemini what I'm getting for for you, like I said, there's some unhealthy, toxic things that you and your person, both of you, are guilty that you put into this connection, you brought to the connection. You realize it's time for some type of positive new beginning. Just to maybe make it good again. There is a lot of love that you two have for each other with this Two of Cups coming up. And your person, they still want to make this work. Yeah, because if you look at the Seven of Pentacles, it's the card that's below the word present. You see how she's watering this plant? Well, she's had that plant ever since it was a little bitty, teeny, tiny baby. Now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are all dark, rich, and healthy. And the plant is, is probably about 10 feet tall, maybe or more now. So it's grown, and she's putting all the effort and energy into it, and she still wants it to work. She still wants this plant to make it. So she gets up every morning, and before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. And this is how your person is feeling about you. They've put, they've probably put some investments into the connection. So, they're not ready to throw it away yet. Even though there's a lot of devil energy in this connection. From the both of you. So, they're still wanting to work on it. And you realize that. That the connection just needs a fresh new beginning. In some kind of way. Yeah, and the both of you, you still love each other. Now, let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. We got the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what's now and to count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure to count your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So... Put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with the Queen of Pentacles, which can indicate that you could be spending 
time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this would be a good thing, provided you, provide you don't take on too much debt. Yeah, there could be some people, maybe some people looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. It's actually a time period when you can get a lot accomplished. So what I'm getting for this challenge, Gemini, with this Four of Cups clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, is that yeah, your person or you could be this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is about having having a lot of regrets. Yeah. Um, and just wishing things were different. And you're just kind of stuck on the regret, though. And self-pity, maybe. Wishing your life away. Because if you look at the Four of Cups... It's the card above the word challenge. This man, he's sitting at the park. He's sitting in the park on the, on the grass. And he's got his head down. And he's just stuck in just wishing his life away. And he's not counting his blessings. He's just stuck on the neg negative things. Negative experiences, negative thoughts. Yeah, he's so stuck in regret that he can't even get up to take care of himself. And I say this because I know you can't see it, but his hand has a lot of blood on it. So he's bleeding. And he's just stuck there. Can't even get up to, to help himself. So you or your person could be feeling this way. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of want to sit there and sulk on the on the negative things that happen in the relationship. But you know that it's time for a fresh new start. You two need to do something positive to make it feel like the connection is headed for a new beginning. So, you might, who's ever feeling, well, I was going to say, who's ever feeling all of this regret might fall back. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she kind of falls back. Yeah, she's like this lady. The Queen of Pentacles is the card below the word challenge. She looks like she's sitting in her lounge chair in her backyard. She's... She's finally spending some time with her dog. He's, he's keeping her feet warm. She's doing things that she used to do before she got so caught up in the relationship. She's feeding the squirrels, the animals that are in her backyard. And she's just taking comfort in the ordinaries, in the ordinary things that she used to do. So... Yeah, it could be, I'm getting that your person is stuck in regret. And they're trying to figure out what happened. How did we get so wrapped up in our, our addictions, our negative toxic energy? How did we bring so much to the connection that was bad, unhealthy? So... That's your person, Gemini, stuck in regret, and then you kind of fall back. Yeah, you kind of fall back and take comfort in the ordinary things, and maybe try to come up come up with some type or some things that you two can do to make this a fresh new beginning, or to make it undergo a new beginning. Because you realize you two really need a fresh new start. 
So that is the challenge. Now we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Six of Wands and this with the Three of Cups. Six of Wands actually, it signals victory. It could be, well, if you're anxious about a court proceeding and you get the Six of Wands or you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. Yeah, you'll be victorious. That's for sure with the Six of Wands, because it's about recognition, success, victory. This can indeed this can also indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. You could feel as though you've had a lot of support from a lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, because Six of Wands is the card above the word outcome. She, this lady, she's standing up on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air, side to side. And she's got all these people below her. They're mimicking her. They're doing exactly what she, she's doing. She's experiencing recognition, victory, success. Now, it's with this Three of Cups. Three of Cups can be a card about reunions. Um, but it's not always a romantic union, not always, but it can be. It's actually the type of reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from a long time or just some time. It's a very, very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of a really happy occasion. So, the outcome, Gemini, Six of Wands clarified by the Three of Cups. So, yeah. Your person, it looks like they finally get up off the grass. They finally get come out of being stuck in their head. And you finally come back from being in the backyard. And, yeah, you finally, the both of, the both of you finally come back come back to life. Sorry, I have some distraction. Yeah, so you, you two come back to life. Okay. And when you two come back together, you both experience victory and success with each other. You're giving your person the attention that they need. They're giving you the attention you need. And you two celebrate. Yeah, you do celebrate in a really big way. Big way. Because you've got this Three of Cups here. It's about celebration. So maybe you two will come up with something to make this undergo a new beginning. Yeah, it looks like you two might spend some time apart, though, before you come to this realization. And then it's going to be good. Victory. you got victory, success. Um, this Six of Wands... It's, it, it, there's a lot more to this card. It's, 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 it's a very interesting energy, the Six of Wands. Um, you get a lot of passion. So, with this one, with this uh, Six of Wands also. So, there'll be a lot of sexual energy going on when you two come back together. Yeah, realizing that the both of you still, you still love each other. You, you both still want to, to make it, want the connection to make it, but you realize that the two of you need to work on yourself. They need to work on them, and you need to work on you. You both of you finally come to some conclusion. 
and realize that the, the, if, that the both of you wanted to make, want the connection to make it, and to make it feel like a fresh new start, that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So you two celebrate. Like I said, there's a lot of sexual energy with the Six of Wands, so yeah, you guys will be experiencing a lot of passion for each other. Recognition is the outcome. Passion is the outcome. Celebrating and rejoicing and rejoicing is the outcome. Very, very happy. Come back together. So, yeah, you two could be starting a new beginning with each other very soon. So that is the reading that I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next. Yeah, for the next Gemini reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this didn't resonate. Also, do keep in mind, if you're not dealing with a love interest, or if you're not in a relationship, uh, for these readings, um, you could be dealing with a, fr a friend, your person could be a family member, or it could actually be a situation. So you have to take the readings for however it resonates. Resonate. Resonate. Resonate.